Thanks for checking out the video. This video is going to be the first video in an engine build series where we rebuild this EJ205. This engine is from a 2005 WRX and I'm swapping it into my 1998 two-door coupe. In this video, I'm going to walk through the 12 steps I have outlined on this whiteboard behind me that's going to walk us through the complete engine build for this 2005 WRX engine. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. I'm Luke. This is the Super Only Show. My little Subaru only shop. It's a DIY Subaru channel. It's a channel where all I do is Subaru builds and race Subaru vehicles with motorsport events. It's a DIY themed channel where I walk you guys through the steps to get your Subarus back on the road and hopefully do a little racing of your own. So thanks for checking out the video, guys. I really appreciate it. As you guys can see behind me, I've broken this engine build process down to 12 fundamental steps. And I'm gonna walk you guys through each one of those 12 steps now. And throughout this build series, I'll be making DIY videos to help walk you guys through all the steps that I have listed here behind me. So let's walk through this list real quick. Step one is tearing down the engine, but for this engine, I've already torn it down because I want to get those heads to the machine shop so I can start this engine build series and really get rolling on this project. Step two is machining the heads. What I mean by machining the heads is that you actually want to take those heads to a machine shop and have them surface the heads so that the mating surface between the head and the block is totally flat. Because with all the heating cycles that these heads have seen on this engine, and the fact that this engine has overheated several times, it's likely that these heads have warped. And because of that, you always want to have your head surfaced anytime you're doing a head gasket job. Step number three is cleaning the short block. And I'm definitely going to do a DIY video on this step because it's a step that a lot of people skip over, and I think it's a really important step that really makes a difference in how nice that engine looks at the end of this build. Then I'm gonna move on to step number four, which is painting that intake manifold with a red crinkle coat finish that comes on the factory STIs. I've had a lot of people request that I do a DIY video on this step, and I'm taking the time, I'm gonna do it in this build series. Next, we'll move on to the exhaust on step number five. And for this build, I'm actually installing the factory headers and heat shields, and I'm gonna walk you guys through how I coat those with a ceramic coating. Okay, then we'll move on to step number six. And step number six is something that I don't really see a lot of people do, but instead of painting those valve covers, I actually like to refurbish them and polish them because I think these cast aluminum valve covers with a really nice polished finish look legit. And I think you guys are really gonna like the way it looks too. Okay, step number seven is a plastic timing cover. Now my plastic timing cover is fine. It's not cracked, it doesn't have any chips or anything. It's totally functional condition, but it's definitely faded and it looks kind of crappy. So instead of painting it, I'm actually looking at another way of refurbishing that timing cover. I'm gonna leave that as a surprise till that later video. Okay, then step number eight is a really important step that everybody with a Subaru should consider, especially a Subaru that's gonna be seeing any motorsport action or that has a turbo engine. And that is taking off that oil pan and replacing that stock oil pickup with an aftermarket fully welded pickup. Because that stock oil pickup is prone to crack at the brass welds, and that oil pump will actually start drawing up some air entrained in that oil from that oil pickup, and it will almost certainly lead to bearing failure and a complete engine meltdown. So this is a huge step to upgrade, and I'm gonna walk you guys through which oil pickup I use and which oil pan I use, and how I install all these parts for this really critical upgrade. Okay, and then step number nine, we're gonna install a multi-layer head gasket. I'm gonna walk you guys through that step in another DIY video. Moving down to step 10, we'll be installing a new timing belt set. I'm gonna install a new timing belt, all the new pulleys, and a new timing belt tensioner. And then for step number 11, we'll install our exhaust, the up pipe, and the turbo, because it's easier to install those components at this stage with the engine on the stand. And then last, we'll install the intake manifold. Now you can install the intake manifold when the engine's back in the car, or you can install the intake manifold when the engine's on the stand. It really doesn't matter, and it really doesn't save all that much time. For me, for this engine build series, because I want to show you guys all the steps and I want to have good camera angles for filming all the steps, I'm actually going to install the intake manifold on the engine while I have it on the engine stand. That way we can have this engine completely buttoned up and we can film every step for this engine build series. Those are the 12 fundamental steps I'll be going through as I rebuild this 2005 WRX engine for my swap into my 1998 two-door coupe RS. I'm really excited for this build series, guys, and I'm hoping you'll join me. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it in the comment section. I'm Luke, this is a super only show. Until next time, guys, later.